Well, early this morning, Space Shuttle Endeavour was finally given the green light to send six astronauts into orbit. NBC's Jay Barbary is in Cape Canaveral this morning, and Jay, a little bittersweet, the last night launch, if I'm not mistaken, potentially in the history of the Space Shuttle, is that right? That is correct, Chuck. That was the last night launch. There's only four of them left. And as you say, it's a little bittersweet over the president's proposed budget, 2011 budget on space. What he's doing, he's not only canceling the moon landings, uh, potential moon landings again, he's canceling some 20,000 space workers' jobs. Now, what they're telling me here is that they've already spent over $10 billion on the space program that will uh, take return to the moon and go to other flexible missions without out in space, but that uh, they've spent, as I say, $10 billion on this, and he's canceling this down, going commercial at this point, and trying an unproven rocket that has never flown, when they have already in the pipe here, they, uh, pipe, they have the uh, equipment that they need and the rockets that they need. They spent nearly $10 billion. They're only $4 billion away from uh, finishing the project. And here's the point, uh, Chuck. They're going to spend in this budget $2.5 billion just to shut it down. So that leaves only a billion and a half away from doing the total job. Now, 11 states, representatives from 11 states and senators from 11 states are lining up with hearings and a big fight in uh, Congress over this. Wow. Yeah, and it's if be a big they one. win, yeah, and, and if they win, Chuck, uh, uh, or have any kind of delay in it, but they win in this budget, uh, America will instantly become the third rate nation in space behind Russia and China. So there are a lot of long strong. faces here. Yeah, All but right. they got a budget increase overall. NBC's Jay Barbary, thank you for that. We'll check in with you again. Strong words. Uh,